AIO head and neck. Attach the base plate to the therapy table. The fixation device for attaching the base plate to the table depends on the type of couch top. For further information, please visit our website. The base plate has a number of slots allowing the immobilization mask to be attached. The plate also has color markings to help position the various AIO cushion sets. The base plate has also been fitted with a number of holes to accommodate the positioning bosses. The head support set comes in six models. Models 1 and 2 are standard head supports, which are suitable for 85% of the Western patient population. Support 2 differs from head support 1 because it doesn't have lateral flaps or supports. Head supports 3 and 4 are the standard paediatric models. And finally, head supports 5 and 6 are just as big as supports 1 and 2, but slightly shorter in the neck section than models 1 and 2. They're used for patients whose head is closer to the shoulders without a distinct neck. To raise the head position or to bring the head into flexion or hyperextension, blocks and wedges can be used. There are two blocks, one of 2 cm thick and one of 4 cm thick. There are also two wedges, one with an angle of 9 degrees and the other with an angle of 18 degrees. All these elements have bosses and holes to allow them to fit snugly together and to the base plate. To increase patient comfort, a thin, soft mattress may be placed loosely on the base plate. Head supports are put on the base plate by pushing the bosses beneath the head support into the holes provided. To change the position of the head, use the blocks and wedges by placing them between the base plate and the head support. The patient's legs are supported using the knee and leg positioning set. This set of grey cushions consists of a flat base cushion with a scale printed along one side. Other elements of the set can be placed on top of this cushion. They're all marked A and B on opposite sides so that they can always be identically positioned for a particular patient. The set also has a raising cushion and a wedge allowing the optimal leg position to be found for the patient. The top three cushions of the set fit in with each other with the same boss and hole set. To guarantee the precision of treatment, a head or a head and neck mask should be used. These masks are available in different sizes and shapes and can be looked up on our website. You'll also find a number of instruction videos illustrating how to use these masks. AIO Prone Breastboard the prone breast set is based on a caudal and cranial cushion with a gap in the middle. First put the cranial cushion in place by locating the bosses underneath the cushion in the base plate. Push them well in. Then put the caudal cushion in place. The yellow lines on the base plate will help you find the right place for these cushions. Place the bridge plate, which consists of a laminate carbon plate covered with a cushion between the cranial and caudal cushions. Position the contralateral wedge, which is made of soft foam, to prevent the healthy tissue of the contralateral chest and the rib cage from getting in the tunnel. The head support is already quite high, but for the majority of women, another block needs to be put in place to keep the head in a comfortable position. Depending on the size of the breast to be treated, adjustment cushions can be placed under the base cushion. This will prevent the breast coming into contact with the base plate. Then put the grey knee and leg positioning set cushions in place to support the angles. Position the bridge plate so that the gap is at the side of the breast to be treated. Before the patient lies down, adjust the size of the head support so that the chin and the bridge of the patient's nose fit into the head support. 
In order to increase the precision of treatment, a thermoplastic mask can be used. This mask clips into the channels on the base plate of the head support and in the wide grooves just behind the tunnel between the two base cushions. Fix the clips of the mask using the blue EVA blocks. Ensure that the mask fits snugly around the patient's shoulders. AIO breast and lung board. This set is always based on the zero angle cushion that is placed on the base plate by locating the green bosses on the bottom of the cushion. There are blue lines on the base plate to help in positioning the cushion. Press the cushion bosses well into the holes so that the base cushion lies flat on the table. Then attach the grey base cushion of the knee and leg positioning set to the zero angle cushion. Then fit other elements of the knee and leg positioning set. By using the measuring strips on sides A and B, you can ensure that these elements are always placed in the same place for the same patient. After this, the wedges are placed on top of the zero angle cushion. The wedges have an angle of 5, 10 or 15 degrees. To allow the use of thoracic masks, the secondary base plate has to be fixed to the wedge using the bosses underneath the secondary base plate. The head support can also be fixed to this base plate in the same way. To support the arms comfortably, one of two arm supports can be fixed to the wedge. Various grip poles can be used, but to put them in place, you first have to set up the base element of the grip pole set on the base plate. The base unit has pins that fit precisely in the holes on the cranial side of the base plate. These are then tightened to the block using the two bolts supplied. The grip poles can now be fitted into the holes of the support block. The grip poles have numbers engraved on them so that you can determine the position of the other elements of the set such as the horizontal or protruding hand grip. Push the horizontal hand grip over the two upright rods to the desired height and fix it in place using the sliding bolt. For the protruding hand grip to be put in place, one support post has to be placed in one of the side holes of the base block and the other in the middle hole. The protruding hand grip is attached in the same way as the horizontal hand grip. The zero angle cushion and the wedges can always be widened using the side pieces if the patient's anatomy requires it. Special thoracic masks can be prepared on the patient to increase the precision of the treatment. To prepare these masks, first ask the patient to put his or her arms down along his or her side and remove the armrest. This makes it easy to access the grooves in the secondary base plate. Place the pre-cut piece so that the upper part covers the chin. Fix the top catches in the grooves of the secondary base plate. Fix them in position using the blue EVA blocks. Put the armrests and the patient's arms back so that the grooves along the body are accessible. Put the other mask clips in the relevant slots and place the long blue EVA blocks. This allows 4-point, 5-point asymmetrical and 6-point thorax masks to be made. AIO Bellyboard and Pelvic the AIO belly board is usually used for patients in a prone position. To use it, first you need to put the AIO base plate so that it overhangs the therapy table to make room for the two hand grips. Then attach the two hand grips to the AIO base plate. First of all, place the screw of the hand grip into the holes marked B and D in the base plate. Then screw the hand grip into the thread from underneath. Now fit the bellyboard base cushion in place. There are green lines on the AIO base plate to help position the cushion. The cushion itself has a number of bosses that fit in the holes provided in the base plate. Push the bosses firmly in so that the cushion lies flat on the base plate. The base cushion can also be widened slightly using two lateral supports if the anatomy of the patient requires so. 
The large hole in the cushion can then be adjusted using one of three possible inserts. Which insert you use again depends on the patient's anatomy. Place the comfort head support on the base cushion. Then fit the two grey cushions to support the ankles onto the green base cushion. Now the leg separator can be fitted to the base plate using the small hole in the base cushion, although we only recommend this is done with the patient already lying on the cushion. Fix the leg separator to the base plate by turning the handle a quarter turn. The leg separator can be placed in a second position by rotating it 180 degrees. The patient can now be positioned on the AIO belly board. Adjust the patient's position until he or she is lying stable on the cushion and then make sure that the lower part of the patient's abdomen is lying against the caudal edge of the belly insert. When the leg separator is in position, the six-point pelvic cast mask can be applied to the patient. Stretch a warmed, pre-cut mask over the patient's pelvic region and insert the clips into the correct openings in the base plate. Fix the clips into the slots using the blue EVA blocks. The belly board can also be used to treat patients in supine position. In this case, use the full insert. The head is supported using a normal head support without a lateral neck support placed on a 40mm thick block. When the patient has been placed in position and the leg separator has been applied, a pelvic cast mask can be placed here to increase the precision of the patient's treatment.